Quinsnicket Park. Atlantis Atia Fundis. Spelunka Vivik Lacus. At Frigida Tempe Mukitisqua Boom Molesk Sub Abor Somni Non Absunt Virgil, Georgia Book Two Ye Sylvan Dryads Turn the harnessed mind from talk of towns to themes of rural kind amidst decadent sights a spot disclose where ancient woodlands give their blessed repose where clement time hath spared his altering hand and left unchanged our own ancestral land when snicket haven of the wearied heart close to the busy town yet far apart whose azure lakes and verdant pastures blend and as one fair harmonious whole extend whose shady glens the years dissolve away and lead us backward to a happier day enchanting hour when first the traveler scales the encircling hills and wanders down the vales tis spring the buds deck every forest bough while honest rustics labor with the plow. Among the trees the feathered songsters cheer, the vernal scene and hail the increasing year. Yon tiny torrent, fed by swollen springs, leaps in the sun and o'er the mountain sings, through fields below and streamlet flows along, with greater amplitude but less of song. At length the force of thankless toil to feel and strain incessant at the whirling wheel. Thus with mankind the sweetest days are first, from youthful lips the songs of spontaneous burst. Maturer years a graver aspect give, and men become more wretched as they live. Away, reality, and let us roam, when Snicket's realm, imagination's home. Let us ascend the gently rising mound, and from its summit View the country road. What city of the blessed is that which lies far to the south, half hidden from our eyes, whose gold paved avenues astound our gaze, whose spires and domes reflect the morning rays, bewitching distance by thy aid alone, the sordid town to splendor thus hath grown. Would that I might display in nobler rhyme when Snicket's beauties in the summer time, as sunburnt farmers gather in the hay, in sylvan shades we shun the heat of day, charmed by the fragrance of the leafy bower. Within the glen we pass the noontide hour. On every side the rugged slopes arise, and verdure shields us from the blazing skies. In yonder reedy pool we half expect some tibbin nymph or satire to detect. Our raptured eyes for fleeing naiad scan, and ears are strained to hear the pipes of Pan. The rushing waterfall, its music lends, creation smiles, and every joy attends. Autumnal days, their sweetest boons bestow, where cool quinsnicket greets the milder glow. The harvest field, with ordered rows of sheaves, vies with the forest and its tinted leaves. The wild ravine, and added grandeur gangs, and brooklet swell with equinoctial rains. Yon rocky bluff above the water's side defies the ages with primeval pride. Of those stern heights to every tempest turned, how oft the Indian's council flame hath burned, how oft his tribe have grateful shelter found, Betwixt the cloven rocks that stand around, imagination brings once more to view the squatting chief and braves of copper hue. The sober look, the pipe pass to and fro, the reckless war dance to the tom-toms blow. How little hath the silent landscape changed since dusky warriors o'er the forest ranged in neighboring meadows all unaltered stand 
the ancient dwellings of an ancient land no modern finger hath yet dared to mar these quaint reminders of an ancient afar behold yon stone-built mansion by the road a stately outline gentry's own abode what powdered yokes hath dwelt within its walls what revelry hath cheered its spacious halls alone it stands each traveller to remind of brighter happier ages left behind midst fruitful orchards by pomona blessed the simple cots of old new england rest by stone protected on the forest end from flaming darts that luring braves might send and missive chimney hearth and vine clad side the signs of long departed years abide what rugged men have trod these sagging floors what pious bliss hath reigned within these doors contented households here have had their sway but that they filled our spacious land today a boreal blast the suffering country chills and winter next invades Quinsnicket's hills yet what can winter's beauty better shew than fields and forests clad in virgin snow the bending boughs a diamond wealth amass whilst lakes and streams are turned to crystal glass night soon steals on and from the gorgeous sky a thousand blazing beacons cheer the eye high in the south orion lends his beams the adjacent bull with rival radiance gleams above the ice-clad trees see sirius shine and leda's heavenly twins their light combine straight overhead behold capella's rays and glittering pursues with his golden blaze in dazzled towns such sights are left unseen to save their splendor for the wild Demison, hail, fair Quinsnicket, fair through all the year, where every season's blessings most appear, remnant of old New England's brighter age, to cheer our spirits and our grief assuage, no modern menace here our joy can blast, who sees Quinsnicket sees the beauteous past. And that is the start of spiritual science, you could see. And there's the hidden fact. Of both the material and the spiritual. 